Welcome to Brawlhalla. Mitchell is seed one for this tournament. I mean, going wow. by the numbers purely, going by the numbers purely, watching a player like Dark Ghoul go against Mitchell, this could this could only end with something that's gonna be a joy to watch. Absolutely, and in just talking a little bit on the meta side of things, um, Nash is an extremely strong character right now. Nash is a oh, crossover yes. Always skin. has been. You know, that's what Shovel Knight is. So with Spear and Hammer here, uh, and then Taros, you know, getting getting nerfed once again a little bit with his SIG kits in the last patch, you got to kind of give the edge statistically to Mitchell here, but both players have a very unique play style. Dark Ghoul loves to kind of take more of a... Uh, you know, really kind of play the mental game, look for where he can really get in and make the most of his opportunities. And just off the bat, he's already hit four beautiful reads just like that and has Mitchell at orange. Already got him at orange. Darkle untouched. Old Caster's Curse got hit by a Sayer and Light. <laughs> oh, good work on the six there. Re reverse there from Darkle. Honestly, this might sound stupid, but they're both looking to kill here. The, these legends have the opportunity to kill so quickly. It is not even funny. Yeah, absolutely, too. And, and you're, you're noticing a lot that, that Ghoul is looking for the perfect placement. Oh, oh. a beautiful dodge into oh, the dare. Me. Another dare. Oh, my dare. God. Goes for the second. Ground pound. Oh, oh, oh. Ground pound. Oh, my God. As Ghoul would say, ye neem bro, ye te, yeah, boy. Ghoul hits Mitchell with the ground pound off the bat and is having an absolutely phenomenal starting performance here off the rip how will mitchell respond into this ghoul is looking to focus heavily on using the hammer and honestly i don't blame him because hitting these d lights into down sig as well has been something that's been very successful and now it's just hitting end light over and over again with unarmed that's the thing that's crazy about ghoul poly is ghoul like it's really hard to tell how he's gonna play because, like, look yeah, at that! His, oh, look honestly, at that! His, the man just his threw decision a weapon making, at his mouth! What? His decision-making is impeccable at the moment, honestly. I, I, he's breaking my mental. My mental is broken watching Dark Ghoul right now. I'm telling oh, really? you, right? <laughs> are you, he threw a weapon literally one frame away, and it saved his life. Like, I don't even think he knows what he's doing right now. He's just mixing it up so well that Mitchell he, he, Mitchell almost can't even adapt. Wow, beautiful D-Light there. And the taunt to oh. come off with it, too. All right, Mitchell, come on. Come on, Mitchell. No three-stock. No three-stock. No three-stock. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Stomp Sarah away. Or a Sarah away. Mitchell, honestly, I think we're starting to see a bit of nerves coming up from Mitchell. You're starting to make a lot of mistakes that he wasn't before. Throwing out attacks left and right. Ooh, Stomp Sarah is finally going to take him well down. Well done. Well done, Mitchell. Stock. He does... He does have a full stock lead, though. For Mitchell to win this, he is going to need a miracle almost. Yeah, absolutely. And this is where Dark Ghoul thrives. So Dark Ghoul, what he's doing right now, you're seeing him throw out a lot of taunts oh, and yeah, stuff like that, untouched. too. Oh, yeah, he's untouched. And a lot of people are like, you know, they might say, oh, that's toxic, da 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 It's part of the game. And a big part of Dark Ghoul's game, in all honesty, is the mental game. And he knows how to get in the player's head, and he knows exactly what to do to throw them off the way they play like just like that mitchell just hit he missed a d light recovery which for the most part that's almost automatic for all these pro players and then misses a d light ground pound once again gets oh, one okay. of the d light ground pound Holy weapon moly. throw and then dives off with a salt on on the side oh polly oh polly talk to me say call me down polly let's go me man. down i can't believe it i can't believe what i just Ghoul witnessed is going absolutely insane man I i'd like to report a murder i have seen something oh, that i don't know it's okay that i just saw oh my goodness gg well played mitchell it's only up from here it's only up from here and as dark cool would have said mitchell got stepped on but it's okay when you get stepped on polly it's okay because there's always a way for you to get back up that's the beautiful thing about life that's the beautiful thing about brahala no matter how bad you fall down it's not about how you fall it's about how you get back up mitchell let's see what you got coming in high here already getting the hammer hitting the sick into his there going into the double end sick and mitchell does have a damage advantage which he did not have at all in the first game so already a pretty good start polly mitchell needs to give ghoul a, a reason to respect him at the moment or he's just going to be continuously stepped on here and he's already doing a fairly good job at it, evening out the damage. Ghoul, though, starts to take a bit more control oh, over the game. beautiful. Mitchell struggling to get an attack. In. Oh, oh, stop! My Lord. Oh, the throw into Sarah. Stop! Yet another stop. murder committed. Oh, oh the stop! Sarah into Salute. Stop! 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 He didn't... Oh, God, stop! Stop! 
We gotta end the stream. We gotta end the stream. Polly, this can't be legal. This can't be legal what I'm seeing right now. Ghoul with just such a beautiful stage control off the bat each and every single time. And just the mental game is adding up so fast here for Dark Ghoul's advantage into Mitchell. Mitchell's got to figure out a way to just calm down, take some deep breaths, and really find a way to get back into this matchup. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's oh, not no. looking good for Mitchell. Mitchell is, <laughs> un is in a very, very bad spot oh, at the moment. No. He will need something huge to be able to bring this out. Oh, no. Going to be picking up the weapon, going for a no side three stock. Ensig, Ensig not hitting anything. No three don't, stock, three Mitchell. Stock. You got it, stock. Mitchell. No three stock. Come on. No three we got stock. This. We believe in you. No three stock, Mitchell, please. You got it, Mitchell just had No! No! Ensig. No! Going to be throwing more? No! Weapon throw? That is Mitchell, it. That's it. No! That's it. He's done. That's a three stock. Oh, Second game of the no. set is going to be a three stock. Oh, 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 say it ain't so. Say this it has ain't to be. so, Polly. Oh, this has to be the most insane set yet, man. Oh, you thought the no. Tiffany sets have been insane? Bro. Bro. Oh. Oh. And, and, and wait, just to verify, Mitchell's the number one seed in this tournament, correct? Yes. Yes, he is the number one seed as far as I know. You know, and, and in my theory, my theory is, you know, you, you, as Ghoul would say, you can't fool the Ghoul. You can't fool the Ghoul. Only the Ghoul can fool you. And so what maybe Ghoul had done is that he had statistically got himself into this perfect power ranking by playing exactly how he wanted to all throughout the season to lead him to this moment to absolutely just step on everybody in the competition. But all right, Mitchell, show us what you got. Switching everything up now, rotating into the green. Tai Lung, that's another green Mordex for you. Uh, Polly, uh, you like the Fenrir one uh, we saw that's earlier. Two. That's yep. another green one. They have to be watching the stream, man. I swear. Good dare coming out, going to be knocking Dark Ghoul off. Man, I love I loved seeing the performance for Dark Ghoul here. He's telling every viewer watching at home right now, you still have reasons to respect the elders and the communities, the OGs. Absolutely, Paul. You're spot on with that. And a big thing, though, too, is everyone watching, this one ain't over. It ain't over at all. If you remember our last set, we literally over. just watched. That was a complete three-game reversal from STTP Wilson after an absolute dominant performance from Tiffany in the first few matches. So this one ain't over. We're going to have to see if, if Mitchell here can really kind of figure out a bit more of a flow. And I'm seeing Mitchell is at least a lot more, well, I was going to say uh, constructed, but uh, missed uh, end light there, which then led to a desig to the face. So uh, that one's a little tough, though. But Mitchell is doing a lot better than the first two matches we've seen thus far. Darko going absolutely insane now. Getting a, starting to have a little bit of fun with it, too, with these extensions here. Can definitely see that from Darko. Don't make sure to keep taking Mitchell seriously, though. You do not want to fall into the same trap as Tiffany did. Oh, what a re look at the re look how calm and just cool and collect Darko is right now. Darko is in his He's element getting into right his head. now. He, he is in his element. This has to be mental. Oh no, look at yeah. that. Look he, at that. He's not. He's, oh, not play he's not playing. He's not playing to win at this moment. He's just playing to destroy Mitchell. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. You're spot on with that. But Mitchell did just get a stock. So we're at 2-2. He does have Scythe right now, which is a very good weapon to get a zero to death with. Oh. Uh, Darko with the double It's not looking recovery. like it. It's not looking pretty. It, he's one He's one stomp Sarah away from being done for here. Dar he Dark Dark oh, Dark yes, just, he Darko go. just plays a way to make you laugh. Like, how do you, how do you not just sit and smile? Watching Dark Ghoul. Look at this man. Double weapon throw, <laughs> stances grounded to end light, and just says, I don't even care. I'm going to show you what I got, man. You ain't got no chance to beat me. What's up? But Mitchell does have a chance looking for the reads. Oh, if he would have got that right there, that was exactly what he needed. Oh, no. Dark Ghoul gets the read. Oh, no. Ground pound oh, no. goes this for could the be step. A, this could be it. Stop. Come on. Yeah, Mitchell, no, get, get no, one no, game. He, Mitchell, he you got back, it. He made it back. It's okay. He has a chance. He has a chance. And lights oh, off, taunts. Again, okay, he tried to again. punish the side, side take him off. The bait, the taunt oh, bait no. is going to be what led to Mitchell's demise.